This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. Problem solved. Yep. I'm so. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a first time viewer, welcome. If you are one of my loyals, my mains, my sugar cubes, welcome back. So in today's video, I decided to use this eyeshadow. Now, the video I uploaded previously was a video reviewing and demoing some of Soak Naturals products. And one of the eyeshadows that I was obsessed with was Kingfisher which comes in a little pot like this and that's actually what you guys see on my eyelids as the main color. When I tell you I absolutely love this color, I am not fabricating. It's absolutely beautiful. Like, if I had to be an eyeshadow, I would definitely be this eyeshadow. So I did a very kind of smoky eye with a, mm, I want to say this is like a brownie mauve lip. I feel like this look is very fall appropriate. Also, I did show some products that I received in my Influencer Vox box. If you guys don't know what Influencer is, it's a really cool app that you sign up for, create a profile, you answer some questions, and based on your questions, they'll send you products to review. It came like, and it came like this. The box is super cute. I did receive one, two, three, five items. Um, two of the items are hair, well, three of the items are hair products, and it's from the brand Amika, and I actually really like Amika. Amika was one of the first flat irons that I purchased, and I actually still own. Um, so it came with a nourishing mask, which looks like this. I actually really like this mask, it's very hydrating. Um, whether my hair is in a wash and go or a stretch state like this. And it also came with a undone texture spray, which looks like this. The packaging is super cute. Now, a little bit about this spray. When I tell you it adds volume to your hair, it adds volume to your hair. The only thing I do not like about this product is that it dries matte. So, even though it adds volume at the root, you would have to put like an oil first because it, you have no luster, <laughs> no shimmer, but it does add volume. I actually really like this. I used this um, for a wash and go when I went to a workshop recently and my hair was high, honey. It was, it was, it was up there, okay? Then it came with a microfiber towel and it's by Aquis Essentials. It came in a bag like this and I like this towel. I like this microfiber towel. It looks like this. I've used it um, a little bit more than my other microfiber towel. I will not mention the brand. Um, the first time I actually tried that towel, <laughs> it's funny because I actually washed my makeup brushes and I really needed them to dry like in a hurry, in a rush because I needed them to dry so I could do a makeup look and I actually wrapped it up in that towel and left it for, like maybe, I want to say 30 minutes to an hour and it was completely dry. I did use it this morning to towel dry my hair and it definitely did cut my blow drying time in half. I did tension blow dry my hair and then just did my signature ponytail. If you guys want to know how I did my signature ponytail or how I do my signature ponytails rather, I'll link it down below. It also came with a Dr. Brandt uh, No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel which looks like this. You can use this as much as you want. You could use it underneath makeup, which I did today. You could use it not with makeup. I use it at night. And I actually do see a difference, not only in the puffiness around my eye, because I always have like this one little crease. It's just been there. I see a difference in my dark circles. Like I didn't need to color correct underneath my eyes today and my concealer was sitting fine. And the very last thing that came in the box is Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper, which looks like this. Now, let me tell you, okay, I'm not one to use a lip plumper. Honestly, I wouldn't have purchased this on my own because I, I'm not into lip plumpers. Like, I have a lip plumping lip gloss from Soap and Glory, and, you know, I like it for the color. I don't really need a lip plumper. I feel like my lips are nice. I like the size of my lips already. But when I tell you this works, 
this works i was actually shocked because they said it not only promotes it not only gives your lips like a fuller appearance it promotes uh more moisture in your lips so my lips is always dry and my lips be so dry and i be trying to wear matte lipsticks and it's not cute and end up looking crusty and unattractive so i started using it and i honestly do see a difference now granted my lip size was kind of full already I was comfortable with it like I said I wouldn't have purchased this on my own because I like my lip size but using it I definitely do see a difference in size and I do see a difference in the softness of my lips and I don't have as many lines in my lips you they say you can use it twice a day once in the morning once in the evening I only use it in the morning and I haven't even been consistent and it it, it works I used it in the tutorial today so yeah, that was everything that was sent to me in my influencer box. If you guys want to sign up, I'll leave the link down below. It's really easy. I think it's really cool. You get products to review for free. The more you review products, you unlock badges. And the badges will unlock opportunities for you to receive more products to review, which is kind of nice. So, and what I actually like is that they'll send you things based on your profile. So they're not going to send you things that you will not use. You fill out a profile and they um, send you things based on what you like a little bit about that I absolutely love how this look turned out I feel like it is very fall-esque <laughs> very fall appropriate so yes if you guys would like to see how I achieved this look using some of the products from my influencer box box please stay tuned to first do a little bit of skincare I'm gonna put my Dr. Brandt no more baggage eye gel underneath my eyes I really like this I see a difference in my eyes the puffiness and my dark circles which is a plus so I'm just gonna rub that in it looks like I'm going really rough but I promise you and I'm just going really softly just rubbing that in underneath my eye like so then I'm going to take my Grande Lip Lip Plumper and put that on my lips so it has time to work and time to, you know, saturate and get my lips all nice and juicy and soft and not crusty. I never thought I would actually use a lip plumper. That's crazy. And I actually really like this product because it really works. Granted, my lip size is, I like my lip size anyway, but it works. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to speed through this part like crazy because there's a reason why I don't do my eyebrows on camera anymore because it just takes for freaking ever. So I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Granite with my little tiny Walmart brush. If you see a spot on my hand, I actually warm up the Anastasia, I actually warm up my brow pomade in general on the back of my hand and then use it like that. And then after I fill it in with the brow pomade, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Brow Duo in the color granite also. With a little bit, a little bit of the lightest color from the Ash Brown Duo in the front of my brow. So yes, I will come back after I finish filling in my brows, which is like probably like three years later from now. So I'll see you in about three years. I just want to say I know my brows are really boxy, but you have to respect the process. So now I'm going to clean them up. Oh my gosh. Clean them up with my Sephora Collection Bright Future Concealer in the color Pecan Pie. This is easily replacing my LA Girl Pro HD Concealers. I love the coverage. I like the texture of it. It's not heavy. I really like this concealer. So I always put a little bit in between my brows so it helps with the gradient effect and then I just blend. I'm just blending it out rather with my Baby Real Technique sponge. And then setting that directly after with some translucent powder. I didn't show up but it's Laura Mercier. Now I'm going to be priming my eye with a very thin layer of the Silk Naturals Stick'em Eyeshadow Enhancer. And I'm using my e.l.f. concealer brush to do so. 
making sure that dries. Now I find the um, best way to operate this is, well, the best way to use this eyeshadow enhancer is to make sure it dries completely. Now I'm going in with Cognac, which is also from Silk Naturals. It's a beautiful transition shade. It's literally a Cognac color. I live for like burnt oranges and rusty colors in my crease, especially during the fall time. Like, hello, this is like the color of fall to me. So I'm just going to fluff that around my crease with my Sigma E40 blending brush. Then I'm going to take the color Cocoa, which is a little bit of a cooler, darker brown. I'm going to take that same brush, my Sigma E40, and then just put that into my crease more tighter just to add a little bit more depth. We're doing a smoky eye, so smoky is all about layering, not going straight in with the dark color and making sure the transitions are nice. Now I'm going to go in with the color Duchess, which is like a nice matte eggplant color. It's it's like a it's like if ash, an ash color and eggplant color had a baby. That's exactly what this color looks like. I'm going to put that a little bit lower into my crease to prep for the lid color, which I am obsessed with. But like I said, smoky eyes take a lot of blending, guys, so don't skip over it. Even though this is fast forward, I don't want you out here looking crazy. Now, do you see this eyeshadow? Do you see this eyeshadow? It's called Kingfisher, and it's my favorite eyeshadow, like, seriously. It's so freaking pretty. It's like a teal blue and it has like little gold and teal reflex it's beautiful so I actually like to apply shimmers with my finger and now I'm going to skip on to face using my black radiance true complexion shine control primer if you see me looking down to the bottom right I was jamming while I was doing this makeup look so I was you know playing my own DJ and switching the songs then I'm going to take my NYX pore filler. My primers tend to, they don't really tend to change. I know what works for my skin and this duo does it for me. Then I'm going to go in with the Silk Naturals HD Concealer. It's, it's a peach corrector and it's in the color 60 and it literally just melts into my skin. So I'm going to use this to cover up any freckles I don't want to be seen and then I'm going to set it with some translucent powder. Again, this is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So it doesn't shift when I put my foundation on top. And total sidebar, this is the second time of me filming this look, okay? So make sure the thumbs is up, okay? Because it did not turn out cute the first time. So now I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 310. I'm going to do one half of my face first, applying the foundation with a e.l.f. angled foundation brush, and then going in and blending it out with my Real Techniques sponge. Like I said, I filmed this uh, look, this is my second time filming this look rather, and it just wasn't, it was not cute the first time. So thumbs up this video. Now I'm going to go in the second half of my face. I don't know why it always looks like I use a lot of foundation. Probably well, because I do. But anyway, I am going to blend that out. I love this foundation. It looks like skin. Like Someone had commented a minute ago on one of my foundation videos that the foundations that I use are too light. But like, do you guys see my body? Like, I'm, 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 a, I'm a light girl, okay? So I'm going to go in a little bit more on certain areas and then just blend that out with my Real Technique sponge. You know, you guys know I skipped my forehead with foundation because I like to cream bronze. And for that, I'm using the... Fenty Beauty Matte Matte Stick in the color Truffle, which is, I think, a beautiful shade for cream contouring. Um, I do find it's a little hard to blend out, but I don't mind it because the finish it, it gives, it, look, it looks like skin, okay? That's what I really like about these Fenty Beauty products is that it looks like skin. Now I'm going to conceal underneath my eye using my Sephora Bright Future Concealer in Pecan Pie yet again. I'm going to put that underneath my chin. Um, around my mouth, on my cupid's bow, and down the bridge of my nose, underneath my eyes, and a little bit on my forehead. And then I'm just going to blend that out with the same Real Technique sponge, making sure there are no harsh lines when I do this, okay? Also, I'm skipping liner and I'm skipping lashes today, so I'm just really perfecting my eyeshadow line to make it nice and sharp. This is a trick you guys can do. I know I usually do it with my eyeliner, like to make my eyeliner cut. But, I do this when I'm sharpening up my eyeshadow edge also. And now I'm going to take that same Fenty Beauty uh, Matte Skin Stick and Truffle on my nose. Now, don't come for me, okay? 
I know this nose contour looked a little harsh in the beginning, but you guys, it worked, okay? Just respect the process. Hashtag respect the process. Now I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty Invisible Matte Translucent Blotting Powder and hit that all over my face. And then I'm going to take my Sigma Aura Powder in, in the saddle, the color is in the saddle, and I'm going to use that as a bronzer today. Because my nose is very prominent, I skipped putting the powder on my nose. Now I'm using my Silk Naturals Velvet Matte Lipstick in Swoon as a cream blush. I did it in my last tutorial and I absolutely love it. Granted, I still think I need more practice working with cream blushes on myself because I just be applying way too much. <laughs> now I'm going to take Cognac on my lower lash line using my iKate House Oval Brush. I love this brush for this purpose because sometimes I feel like I don't have a lower lash line. And I'm going to take Duchess just on the outer corners and then blend it out with the same eye Kate House brush. Now I'm going to take my uh, Shimmer Skin Stick from Fenty Beauty and this is in the color Trippin and I like to use this as a cream base for the highlight I'm going to go into next which is absolutely beautiful. The first time I filmed the tutorial I applied way too much and I was looking brown and it was just oh lord it was a hot mess. So I'm going to use my Silk Naturals Highlighter in Dawn, which is absolutely beautiful. It pairs beautifully with this trippin'. Um, I'm going to put a whole bunch on my forehead because I was feeling a lot. I was feeling like a light, a lighty head, alright? Put some on my nose, down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow, alright? I was highlighted up, chow. And then I'm going to put some e.l.f. mascara primer onto my eyelashes. Like I said, I'm skipping liner and falsies today, so I want my lashes to come through, honey. I want them to come through, be big, nice, fluffy, and bold. So once I apply that, I'm going to let it dry and move on to my lips. Now this lip color is also by Silk Naturals, and it's called Melt. It's a velvet matte lipstick, and it's beautiful. Do you guys see the color? Like, I think it pairs so beautifully with this eye look. Now I'm going to pop on some L'Oreal Voluminous mascara this is the real OG I wish I could find a drugstore cruelty free dupe that is as good as this so if you have any recommendations please link, um, leave them in the comment section so that's the finished look guys I didn't head and changed you know put on my blazer I'm feeling very full I'm feeling very like mobster like I don't know I'm just feeling really nice and blessed okay thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye